how are you doing welcome to my same if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smile that subscribe button turn on the notification so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying massive shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here i am truly grateful thank you all so much so today we'll be just talking something very important and it's about black people that went to shop at bed bath and beyond right in ohio why they were shopping boom they called cops on them why because they think they have high price items in their car that was why they called cops i mean racial profiling you know right and the next thing they saw cops they started interrogating asking questions they caught cops because the, uh, you guys have high price items in your card and we want to ask you question and they started looking for who asked um called the cops that lady looks hispanic really when you watch this video you see what i am saying she said it is her ride to call the cops and i am asking is it bed bath and beyond that gave her the ride or the manager that gave her the right they need to find out because i mean you have to ask questions because black people have been forgiving like they will say oh yo it's okay i mean this is russia profiling right so then yeah don't forgive don't forget because i don't see how people are gonna come to shop in your establishment and the next thing they are seeing cops and please spend money where you are wanted not where people are gonna call cops for you because i don't see it make this thing make sense stay close to the screen i'm just running this clip we'll come back to talk about it and i absolutely want to read all your comments let me know what you all think in the comment section i straight up i am running the clip um this is rachel and rachel works at a bed bath and beyond in toledo ohio and rachel here believes it is her right to call the police on black people when they have too many big ticket items in their basket. Yeah, you can't make this up while black. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond under fire after police called on black couple who had too many big ticket items. Yeah, okay, there's video to this. Let's get to it. So, um, apparently someone called us, they thought maybe we were shoplifting or something. Okay. Do you know who they used to call? I do not. Okay, well, it, was, it was a store. Yes. So do you know, it was, I mean, we've been one of your employees. What, what would you like me, what do you need help with? I would like to understand why they were called. Right? That's very simple. Why were the police called with the three black people thinking that we were shoplifting? I paid $600 for my thing, so obviously I, w I didn't shoplift. Mm -hmm. I want to understand why you thought I was shoplifting. You didn't place the call, but one of your employees did. I'd like to know why. Okay. All right. I mean... I'm not like that's standard, right? I'm not being hostile or anything. Because he was, he asked the woman to well, pay. I don't care. I mean, if there's people, big purchase items, that type of thing, there's usually a question. We just want to make sure. Okay, usually a question. I can understand that, but police being called, I can understand that. Right? You, you, you're usually a question, so maybe the store will ask a question. Or maybe you don't follow, maybe you follow me around. Sure. Wait, so but, can you come to the front? But that's not what happened. The police were called. With pot, potential shopping, which means we, that We call the someone... police all the time. They have our backs. We were okay, well, that's them. fine. But you're called, you didn't call the police because we did shoplift. You called the police because you thought we were shopping. If I spent $600, I paid my money. I didn't shoplift. Did anybody you say call... anything? Did anybody say anything? Did yeah, say the anything? officer asked her, did we pay? Okay. So someone did say something. Yeah, I did do. pay. When there's big but what happened is you, you called yeah. the police while we were still on this side of the store. We were here for over an hour. So you called the police when we first really got in here. Okay. Time out. I know we did. I'm coming up. I hear what you're saying. Sure. Come on. They want to know why the police were called. They want to talk to the person who did it, and they want to know why they did it. Yeah, well, we were profiled, exactly. Oh, I have, I have a call. You call? It's my right. It's your right to do what? Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you hear it right. So, your right to do what? It's my right to call. Because you thought the three black people were shot lifting, why? They didn't say that. You called the police, and you said we have a potential shot lifting. So, you did say that. No, I'm reporting. Are you with these guys? Or? No, she's not with us, but she can stay. I, mean, I just want to know. So, sir, to so, so make sure I'm not hostile, I'm not being violent. I just want to know 
why the store called the police because they thought we were shoplifting. We just purchased a new home, right? We came in because you are closing. It's a closing sale. I didn't realize it was like a maximum number of items you could buy, right? So we were not shoplifting, but the police were called because we thought we were. I'm, I Hold on, just in case you didn't hear what Rachel said. They want to know why the police were called. The person who did it, and they want to know why they did it. Yeah, well, we were profiled, exactly. Oh, I have one. Call. You call? It's my right. It's your right to do what? Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you hear it right. So, your right to do what? It's my right to call. Because you thought. Oh, you heard her. It was Rachel's right to call. Well, it's our right to call also. This is the information for that bed, bath, and beyond at that Toledo location. And let's call them and ask them, is it often that they call the police on black people just because they are purchasing big ticket items? It's probably why they're going out of business anyway. Y'all have a nice day. Let's get it. We done with Bad Bath & Beyond, y'all. They called the police on black shoppers just because they had high price tickets in their cart. And I don't like it. Check it out. Why were the police called with the three black people thinking that we were shoplifting? Mm -hmm. I paid six hundred dollars for my thing, so obviously I, w I didn't shoplift. Mm -hmm. I want to understand why you thought I was shoplifting. You didn't place the call, but one of your employees did. I'd like to know why. Okay. All right. I mean, and if there's if a big purchase items, that type of thing, there's usually a question. We just want to make sure. Okay, usually a question. Come on. They want to know why the police were called, and they want to talk to the person who did it, and they want to know why they were called. Yeah, well, we're profiled exactly. You called? It's my right. They didn't describe us at all? They didn't they, 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 they let you know who we were? Two black males. Two black males. Yes. Okay. And so y'all didn't come find us. Y'all just stayed here until we came out, right? The main thing was nothing was concealed. So that's why right. we just stood by the door. These Karens is caring, y'all. I don't know what to say. I'm sick of it. If I was that shopper that they paid for their stuff and left, I would have put all that shit back. We done with Bed Bath & Beyond. Tell me what y'all think about it in the comments. I don't know what else to say. Make sure y'all follow me. If you want to support the page, take the link in the bio. I am out. So, um, apparently someone called us. They thought maybe we were shoplifting or something. Okay. Oh, it's crazy. Me and my friends were profiled in that same exact store. About a, it's been about a month since it happened. And it was crazy because we went in there. I forgot what my friend was looking for. He was looking for something. But we went in there because, you know, they have them going out of business sale. You know, the price, we thought the price was going to be slash, slash, slash. But the prices was not given going out of business sale. You know what I'm saying? We were just in there browsing. I think we picked up a couple items. But, uh, but they were on our asses. The woman that called the police, her. And, yeah, because we were the ones with the year-round tans up in there. So, yeah, you already know what that was given, and definitely. And that man spent $600 up in there. I would have took all that shit back. Ain't no way. Bath the Body Works do better. And, like, y'all going out of business, like, y'all going out of business for a reason, because do fucking better. So, um, apparently someone called us. They thought maybe we were shoplifting or something. Okay. Do you this is nothing new for Bed Bath & Beyond, because this happened to me when I, um, was living in Towson, Maryland, and I went into a Bed Bath & Beyond to furnish my home, and the same thing happened to me. They stopped me, um, said I had too many high-priced, high-ticket items, um, and, you know, they, they, like, the manager was following me. I mean, it was very, very embarrassing. And I spent over a thousand dollars to furnish, you know, get things for the, my new house. Um, I quickly returned those items because I'm not spending my money anywhere where I'm going to be treated like that. So, yeah, this this is Bed Bath and Beyond. That's what they do. Things that I noticed in this video. This happened uh, yesterday at a Bath Bed and Beyond in Toledo, Ohio. Aside from the fact that these two men were racially profiled and the police were called on them before there was any proof of potential shoplifting, the attitude of 
I don't know if she's the manager, but the attitude of this employee, the other employee, and the male employee that came up is horrible, bath, bed, and beyond. Instead of taking accountability for racially profiling and offending people who come into your store to spend money with you, they doubled down and said that it was their right. And I'm guessing they're saying it's their right that was given to them by you, Bath, Bath Band and Beyond. That This is your store policy to racially profile or to accuse your customers of shoplifting because they are paying or buying something that is considered high ticket. Then she didn't explain what made her believe that these two men were shoplifting a high ticket item. Like what was her criteria for making that decision? As your customer was filing a complaint, they were told, we're not getting nowhere. We're, we're done with this. Call corporate. So y'all call corporate on behalf of this, uh, this man. Tag Bath Bed and Beyond. Take accountability, Bath Bed and Beyond. And I hope these two men sue the hell out of you. Just like those two men who should have sued Starbucks instead of forgiving them when they were racially profiled in Starbucks. I hope these two men do not forgive you, Bath, Bed, and Beyond for not teaching your employees to take accountability and to apologize and to take a formal complaint. Also, did y'all notice the one who had the right to racially profile, the one who had the right to call the police, hid behind the police? For no damn, like, went and hid behind the police. Like, I just cannot. Get, here here y'all go. So this is all I got from the stitches. And let me say this, you know. This racial profiling or something, I mean, it looks like it's becoming common with them. And that racial or whatever her name is looks Hispanic. I don't know, but I think she's Hispanic. But... Please, do not spend your money where someone will start telling you stories or start looking at what is in your car because they think you are a black person and you cannot afford it. Or not even that you cannot afford it, that you are a criminal because when people show this kind of attitude, first of all, they already call you criminal. I mean, you are a thief. Why do you have so many things in your car? And where did you get the money that you were just and paying for this? I mean, <laughs> the money you made by yourself, right? See, if something like this happened, do not forget, do not forgive. If you are not suing for racial profiling, Put back everything, drop everything back and walk away. I mean, you are a king, you are a queen. Spend your money where people want you to spend. I mean, there are so many organizations, so many companies that would be very glad to have you as a customer. Go there and spend your money. Stop spending your money where they will call cops on you and start asking you questions about your own money this is the money you made for yourself by yourself all by yourself and somebody's coming to tell you a story and she is saying it is her right and who gave her the right this is these are the questions they need to ask her who gave her the right to call cops if it is the company let the company bear the consequences because i don't see yo you heard what other people said they had the same encounter in the same place the same place probably different uh branches and all that so it means it's just uh, uh uh a common something like it's kind of common among them or it's something like that uh, you know that happens all the time and man i just don't know how i feel about this but the best i can tell you is spend money where people will be happy to have you where people will serve you as a king or a queen because that is who you are this is where i am going to draw the card in thank you all so much for all the love and support i appreciate you all and i will see you all in my next video bye for now